I'm recording again for the second time. I share my screen. Here we go. Share. I'm going to right go down here to local insights. We're going to add an insight. It has all the information about uh, local areas, but we need to put in all the information. So I want to make sure that we have all of that there for people to see. So you can do it two ways. You can add it, add it on your computer by going down here, clicking on insights, and then create new insight. I'm going to click on create new insight. Uh, I'm going to search for a new area. So I'm going to add my friend's brewery. Uh, track brewing. It automatically populates. This comes from Google okay. or somewhere. Um, gets the location right there so you know the accuracy is perfect for any of your uh, things that are already on your computer. I'll call it uh, track brewing. This is a brewery so you just type in the category brewery. Click on it. Delicious craft beer is the details. And that's pretty well everything we need. Now, I don't have a picture of this place, but I go there every now and then. So the next time when I go there, I'll grab a picture of it and add it. So I'm going to save this insight. And now it should be there. So if I click on the map, hopefully it's there. Don't make a liar of me. Here it is. Yep. New insight. So now if you're showing houses up here in the Oak Mount area and you pull out your Kelly app, it'll show you um, that insight that I have added. When I go there next time and grab a beer, I will add a picture of it for you guys. Any questions about that? Nope. Easy. Okay. I'm going to show you the other way. This video is going to be nice and quick. Hey, uh, Jamie. Yeah. Can you, um, is there, is there a way to edit? Like right now I see there's a little black, like on my insights, little black drop down, but it's not working for me. Is there like any other way to edit the insight that we create? Let me see. So here's off track brewing. Uh, I'm going to click on this insight. I have a little. Yeah, it's not working for me either. But there is a way to edit it. So if we give, if maybe if I shared my my screen, um, share. I want to share my. Uh -huh. Here. Oh, picture of me. <laughs> Here we are. This is my phone. Uh, we have local insights near me. Oh, click on these. View on a map. Okay, so here's my insights. I don't have the new one I just added there. Might take a little while for Kelly to get that one. I can add one. I can check out one that I added down here and maybe I can edit that one. It's in this area. And that. It's not bringing them all up. It's not bringing up any of mine. Well, this is not very cooperative today. Anyway, we can click on the plus sign up here and that tells us how to add an insight here. So I'm not going to add one here again. We've already added Keller Williams a bunch of times, but this automatically gets your location. Uh, take the categories, the title, put in your little description, and then there is the little phone button in the bottom left hand corner or the little camera button. Just click on that, take a photo. Mm -hmm. of wherever you are and then click save up in the uh, top right corner which you can't see because my bar didn't work. there you go top right corner click save and that adds your insight so then you can use that anytime going forward you can edit your insights I'm going to stop share I'm back to uh, you can edit your insights on the computer but I don't know if that's working today so I'm just going to click on that, Eric, and have a look. Um, hey, working on my phone on the Kelly app, I can edit. There's a, it has an edit button, and when I click it, it's working. It's just, on my laptop. It's not working. Okay. Let's see. 
So I'm looking now only for my insights. I click this little tab button up here. Uh, that turns off everyone else's insights and just leave mine on. Search this area. So I have off track brewing, which I added. I have humanity. But you're right, I'm not able to edit this. Maybe if I went just back into insights again. Fetching insights. Yeah, it's just not cooperating. Yeah. There's a way that you can add them though and edit them. Yeah. I'm assuming a little black arrow on the right hand side is the is what would give us the option to edit on the laptops, but for some reason it's not working. That's weird. Um and this all ties in, it's all gonna be information that's usable then through all the consumer app once that gets um once that gets all put together. Yeah. Jamie, what's the point of everybody doing the same one too? Like if there's an insight already there, should you duplicate it or is no. there behind? No, don't. No, don't do that. That's, um, that's, that's really not necessary. Mm. Uh, just, just put an insight in. If, if you're at a location, you open up Kelly, Kelly's going to automatically tell you where the insights are, what ones are near you. And mm. if there's already one there, don't put it in because okay. everyone's insight uh, goes into this big pool of insights for all mm -hmm. of the areas. So you don't need to do them all for yours because if you did it, um, if I've already done it for you, then you can use my insight. Exactly. Okay, great. Okay, good. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm having trouble with my phone here. How did you go in and edit your insight, Eric? Um, when I'm on my phone, um, if I, go, if I click the view map, it brings up everything. So it's showing there's 45 insights. Yeah. And I just sc scroll into one that I knew I put in. And um, so for example, this one I just clicked on, it's Eric Graves Memorial Junior High School. Yeah. Um, so it says school at the top and then over to the right, it has edit. Okay. And when I click that, then I can go in and I can change everything. So like I just put like the school the description I just put junior high school grades seven through nine. Great. Okay. Perfect. Um, that's, that's good. I'm not able to pull up my insights for some reason. They're not populating on my phone right now. Yeah. Yeah, mine aren't either. Yeah. I don't know what's going on there, but um, you should be able to do that in most times. One of the many glitches they're probably still working on. Yeah. This is a really good feature when it works and I haven't had any problem with it in the past. But today, it just seems to be a little bit on the cracky side. But my whole point of it is, is that they're super easy to add. I added one the other day while I was waiting to pick up a deposit at the Humanity in the North End. I just stepped out of my car, took a picture of the front of the building, and added in the little description. I've added a, a couple of parks, and I just added my friend's brewery. Um, it just starts to create a sense of what the community is all about. So if everyone is going around and they remember to put in these insights, then we're going to have a a big map of everything that's available to everyone in every neighborhood in Nova Scotia and PEI. Hopefully that's the, that's the end goal. Mm. So if we can all go forward and just start thinking about the places that we go, that we enjoy going to, it could be your favorite restaurant or it could be the park that you bring kids to or the swimming pools, the hockey rinks, whatever it is, just start getting that in your head to take a second and add that insight. So everyone can benefit when they're going on listing presentations or when you're in the, a neighborhood that you're not overly familiar with maybe you do most of your sales on the Halifax Peninsula and now all of a sudden you're in Coal Harbor showing houses now you can pick out Kelly and say well you know there's a pool here a mile and a half away and there's some great there's a great Thai restaurant just around the corner you are the expert even if you have never been there before just got off the boat from Newfoundland you don't know anything you can still get all this information really easily Good. So is everyone understanding why this is so important? Mm -hmm. We well, have the community at your fingertips. The whole community, no matter if you know it or not. Yeah. Well, and the big picture is once the consumer app is rolled out, all mm -hmm. the, the consumers are going to see all these insights that we're putting in too. So when they're searching on our app, they can see if they're looking in Cole Harbor, they can see how close the, the nearest pool is or the grocery store or schools and all that type of stuff. That's such a great point. 
um, the app that you share as an individual agent to your consumer uh, will have all of this information no matter where they are at their fingertips. They're going to love your app. They're going to share it with everyone they know. Even if you don't know them, they're going to be using your app so long as we can continue to add the value to the systems that we are providing. And that starts here with insights. A lot of the stuff is going to be fed through MLS. All of the stats, all of the listings that are for sale, it's all going to be fed. You're not going to have to worry about that. But this kind of stuff needs to be put in. There's 170 agents between here and PEI, North Sydney, and Shelburne. We're all over the place. We need to start putting in these things so that um, people get to use this. It's very impressive, like I said before I started the recording, to anyone here in HRM, but it's going to be even bigger and better for anyone who is a little farther out and they're just not used to having all of this information about their local little community. So let's start working on that, get those insights in. I see a lot of people have joined the call a little late, um, a little late sending out the email. Um, you can go back, this recording is gonna be put on YouTube and I will share it and email it to everyone so you can see what I'm talking about when I'm talking about insights. Do anyone have any questions? No questions? Good. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording for now.